because like sometimes your face just can't like move all my house has been a bit messy Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, as you can see from the title, it's gonna be another one of type of these videos that you probably can see all over the internet. Uh, but yes, today it's, well, not really today, but like more like this week, it's gonna be more of like a getting my life back together, glowing up for the new year video. Um, the reason why I do this is just because um, how many times are we going to see these types of videos? Like, how many times are we going to need to get our life back together? I'm just playing. But um, obviously, um, just because of the new year, I'm sure it's like a lot of inspiration, a lot of motivation for people to, you know, start getting their life <laughs> back together. I will say is that you don't need to wait for a new month, a new week, a new year to get your life back together and honestly like if you want to get it back together then do it right now like even if it's 2 a.m like at least you're starting now like if you want it get it now this video will just mostly be like a what i'm gonna do for the new year you know just getting ready for it and all of that um this is probably just inspiration from all the other videos that i've been seeing on my youtube home page i almost called it for you page oh my god this stuff is mostly gonna be like you know just a lot of self-reflection cleaning up my house <laughs> deep cleaning my house um and just like establishing new goals and stuff um i will say though i have been doing some stuff uh though that i will say i will get into so i already did like a, a vision board of like what i want for the new year um, I also have been journaling a lot more, which is actually really useful, but um, I'll just bring you along the way and um, we'll see what we can do. Obviously, this video just can't be done within a day and, um, you know, getting your life back together um, takes more than just one day. This video will take a uh, place throughout the week because I really, and I'm sure all of us don't have that much time where we can just do everything in one day. So we're just going to take it little by little, but, you know, the most important thing is that at least we're doing something and getting progress each day you know and instead of like plateauing and just staying in this stagnant like area of life because i feel like a lot of us have been there recently so um other than that let's get right into the video it's currently 3 31 p.m and i actually have paddling practice at um 4 30 so i'm actually gonna get ready for that so there really isn't anything I can do right now, but I will show you some things that I will do. So as you guys can see, obviously my house has been a bit messy. Um, honestly, like it's just been hard trying to clean up around this place. <laughs> like I'm dead ass. <laughs> like I, it really is hard. But um, my most important thing I want to do is try to clean up my area, which is actually right there. Um, I think we all know why it's my area. Anyways, I'm gonna clean up this area as well because like it's such a like a eyesore you know what i mean like just having the things covered the piano and all of that um obviously um i can't really do anything about that area because that's where i hold all my fabric for my sewing projects which i actually need to tell you about but um i'm just gonna try and organize most of the things in these areas and just clean up a bit and i also need to clean up my tank again like i said though i can't just do everything right now because i actually have to get ready for paddling practice so um i'm just gonna do that um right now um, you guys may know, you guys don't know this actually, but uh, our boys team did not make it to the championships, which I'm really upset about because um, it was my last year and, you know, just through like all that hard work and stuff, I felt a bit um, sad, you know, and also because it was just like my last time paddling for my school's team. However, um, I do remember hearing from people like it's only, it's only your last, if you make it your last and stuff. Um, which was sweet, but also that was my last for the school's team. However, that's not the last of my paddling journey because hopefully I can paddle for, um, you know, like club during the summer and all of that type of fun stuff. So, um, we're still going to practice though. Overall, I'm still going to practice though just to like, you know, just be conditioned and to also keep the other teams that did make it, which was our women's and men's team, um, motivated because honestly, I think like, for me especially, I find it more like easier to work out when it's with other people around me rather than myself because I can't really keep my myself motivated, you know? But, um, hold up. 
the journey throughout it all has been really like fun and I'm still proud of my accomplishments nonetheless you know I will never sell myself short of what I could have done and what I did not have done because I did everything that I needed to possibly do you know just from staying and piling for like all four years technically to even like piling in the summer like I said um I remember I think a couple videos back or well a lot of videos back um I showed you guys um, me going to quiet actually being able to paddle in the long distance race which was so um I was very proud of myself basically but um yeah I, other than that I'm pretty much ready this is basically the workout outfit for today it's basically this black compression shirt or dry fit shirt I don't know if it's, no it's not compression because it's not Fitted. Anyways, uh, and just these black shorts, and I'm just gonna get my bag ready and all of that. So that I'm using for today, only because um, I don't really need to carry a lot, and um, I just carry stuff like essentials, like um, lens wipes, gum. What else is in here? An extra mask, hand sanitizer. I bring my bus pass with me because I need to take the bus to get there. Um, I'm also bringing my battery pack because um, I did not charge my phone and it's almost dead. And that's basically. Pretty much it, what I bring to paddling most of the time, other than um, my water bottle that's already inside and an extra change of clothes in case um, <coughs> I um, get wet and stuff. But um, yeah, I'm also going to be bringing my um, the Kite Runner book that I need to um, read because I haven't been reading it by AP Lit. Um, but however, it seems like a really interesting book though, so I will read it hopefully hopefully i will uh, i'm recording but you can take it eating dinner <laughs> i got a papaya salad and my dad got uh Hey, so I just came back from paddling. Um, as you guys knew, we ate pho. Um, I just took a shower and now having dessert, which is just a malasada and a fat boy ice cream. Even though they can be completely eaten alone. But you know, I just saw. I still have to do my case study um, soon and I have to also study for human phys. I have so much to do and I just really hope I can do all of that by tonight you know and I really hope I do well on my exam as well tomorrow but for now I'm just gonna enjoy eating these two things <laughs> So it's currently 11.20pm uh, and I just finished my case study that was supposed to be for human phys and I literally started at 9. <laughs> that took quite a while but you know at least it's done. However, I don't really think most of the stuff I got was right so I'm going to check with um, Jessica in the morning um, just to make sure everything was all good but other than that I still need to study for my um, human phys exam. It's always human face um, right now, so it's 11.21, so I'm just going to take a little break and I'm going to start studying for that at 11.30 and hopefully, fingers crossed, I do well tomorrow, so. Just came up from paddling it's the next day um basically an update from yesterday i did finish everything but i did not uh journal down my thoughts and stuff and also i didn't brush my teeth or wash my face i think oops but currently eating a salad from jack in the box um it's actually my first time trying it so hopefully it's good it's southwest my big fan of Southwest, eh, it's okay. But I'll still eat it because I eat anything. <laughs> okay, I think it's done. Okay, so we have 
something to help out with the fabric stuff that we have in the couch. We have these shelf thingies that we got from my storage unit. And so we're gonna put them in the house and hopefully it'll help organize more. Okay, so we just got all the fabric on the shelf. And I didn't even realize I had some of these other fabrics. Like, I had this pink corduroy then, this blue one as well. Like, wow, I have a lot of green. Hmm. Okay, so we just got rid of the couch and I had never seen this hallway empty like that much before. But um, I still need to sweep and clean up still because, um, yeah, I had to um, move my bags. But anyways, at least we have something done. But I'm really happy actually. Like, y'all don't understand how much like getting rid of that couch meant to me. Yes, yes, guys, I'm literally so happy. Don't look at that. Don't look at that. Look at that. Wow. Yay. This part now. I don't know why I was just making this. Okay, so it's currently I think around like 9 50 something p.m we just finished cleaning for today we didn't get to finish everything but you know like i said um i think it's better to make steps small steps uh forward instead of taking one big step and then being you know completely exhausted right after you know even i had to think about that right now because look i was tired about it but anyways we finished and i'm lucky glad with the progress that we got Hold on, I'll show y'all. Ta-da! <laughs> Yay! Uh, we still have to fix some stuff here and here. But, you know, at least we're getting somewhere. Yep. We have the sewing machine. We have the fabrics and other stuff for it. And then we also have more tables for that. The two sewing machines and over there as well. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much the progress we made today and the computer room as well.
All right. Um, it's currently 12.33 a.m. and I'm gonna try to sleep by one because um, recently I've been staying up to like 1.30 to 2 only because I have been like having a lot of hectic things going on lately. Anyways, I'll show you guys what I basically use as my night, night routine. You know, to be honest, I don't even really know what I'm doing most of the times. I just use what's around me and it, it seems to work it, it seems to work like or maybe it's because i'm a male I, I, first thing first i do wash my face and then basically i go with this everyone probably has this like i'm not gonna lie like <laughs> why do i have it because that's how everyone else have it um this cerave foaming facial cleanser and this is the only one that I use. I mean, I have tried Cetaphil before, but uh, both actually worked well, but like, honest, I would say this is what I have on me right now, but um, my brother left me the Cetaphil right here. So, I mean, <laughs> I guess when this runs out, I'll load it out, which I do feel it running out. I basically go with it, and then I just put it all over my face. Oh. That scared me. I was like, why does my shadow look like a penis? <laughs> Ew. I go ahead with this rose quartz roller. Um, is it really rose quartz? I don't I don't I don't know, honestly. I but it feels nice and I just roll my face. I just go in uh like an upwards direction because I heard that's supposed to help a lot, to be honest. I don't really know what I'm doing. Just any person Anybody that's interested, that has like a specialty in skincare, please let me know. Um, I do think this is good though, because honestly, I think it does very close to my face, because in the morning, I'm like, wow. Yeah, I just go here. Um, I heard this is to help with your, is it lymphoids or something? Because like sometimes your face just can't like remove all of it. So doing this does or some shit, I don't know. <laughs> My shadow still looks like a penis to me. Anyways. And then basically I just use a smaller part of it and then I just go like near my eye. Great. Anyways. So I just wash that and then after I go ahead and brush my teeth because I'm just I just want the facial soap to um stay on a bit more. Just to like get really in there. See though? Oh, that's kind of gross. But brushing your lips is like a game changer. I've been doing it quite often and wow. Basically, after I'm done um, brushing my teeth, I'm just gonna go ahead and wash my face. Okay. But yeah, make sure to wash really well because honestly, I think if you don't, then um, it stays on and it creates acne. Like, uh, it does the opposite. That's why I think, like, I try to get my jaw a lot because I have, like, recently I've noticed that, like, it's mostly my chest and my jaw that has acne. I don't know if it's, like, hormones or puberty or I don't know, but I am washing it more often and it's not as bad anymore uh, on both parts. <laughs> Cheers. Wow. And also, do not, um, what do you call it, rinse your mouth after. Because I heard, I think also with like brushing your teeth, like I heard it like loses its effect. So I think with gargling and brushing your teeth, you do not want to like rinse after. Isn't it kind of like at the dentist when like you... When they say do not eat or drink for like 30 minutes, you know, just to like get in there because like, you know, anyways, I'll see tea time. I didn't, I didn't know this could actually happen. Um, I guess I lost too hard. <laughs> Use this J Skin Beauty Hydra Moist Ice Water Sleeping Mask and basically I just leave it on because it helps with lifting and pore minimizing it has collagen niacinamide centella acetus 
stick uh, hyaluronic acid and alpha rp10 and um to be honest i don't know if you're supposed to wash it off the day after or if you're supposed to sleep with it overnight but basically i use this after um paddling or just like um if i'm like out in the sun basically the whole day i'm just gonna add it because i guess i was kind of working hard you know just like fixing the house and stuff so i just add like a little bit and then i just add a little bit of my hand so then pretty much it for that and yeah that's honestly it that's just like a two-step process for my skin and five steps for um my night routine but that's the, yeah anyways now you can go to sleep yay um it definitely looks like i need sleep and also i'm a little quiet because i think people are sleeping anyways but um i think i'm gonna end the video here i really hope you guys enjoyed the video as you guys obviously can tell um it takes quite a while just to glow up you really can't do it within a day or two uh within a day or like in just one video you know what i mean but um i really hope this video um motivates you guys to, you know keep on pushing forward with your goals like um even if it's like already in the middle of the month or like anything you do not have to wait to the next week for tomorrow or next year next month did i already say next month already y you get the point like if you want it now then do it now but anyways i really hope you guys enjoy today's video if you came Ew. if you watched all the way then add a um i don't know a rainbow emoji and your newest resolution down below anyways um uh, that is it see you guys in the next one bye bye